I'm Adil Kumar. Welcome to my series on linear relations. I've taken a very important uh, relation which is relating degree Celsius with degree Fahrenheit. C equals to 5 over 9 F minus 32 is a relation between temperatures measured in these two different units. Now they are so popular most of the time while we are traveling we are always converting uh, the temperature from one unit to the other. Now here is a graph which also relates uh, both these temperatures and one can use the graph also to convert one from the other. The question here is the graph below also relates them explain how right, so that is what you need to do you need to explain which graph is for what and how can we really use this graph to convert from degree Celsius to Fahrenheit or from Fahrenheit to Celsius. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now let's begin with the relation given to us when we say C is equal to 5 over 9 F minus 32. In that case, F is our independent variable and C is dependent variable when we are talking about linear relations, right? So, in a linear relation, we have one variable which is independent and the other is dependent on the other one, correct? So, in this particular case, what we have is that C is dependent on F, correct? So, therefore, F will be plotted on the x-axis. So F will be plotted on the x-axis if we are trying to look into this particular relation. Now, we have two different graphs. How do we figure out which one belongs to which formula? Well, we could actually just test some values out. If F is equal to 0 and if F is equal to 32, so these are two critical values which can tell us which graph relates C with F. Now if I write F equals to 32, the whole thing becomes 0. So C becomes 0. That was simple. But if I write F equals to 0, then I have to use calculator to calculate. So let's calculate what is this equal to. So if F is equals to 0, then C is equal to 5 over 9 times minus, right, f is 0, so minus 32. So let's use calculator and find this answer. So we'll multiply 5 by 32 and then divide by 9. And we know it is a negative sign. Approximately in uh, decimal values, we get 17.77, right? So that is minus 17.77 we can say 7, 8. Now looking into these two values, the when f value is 32, c is 0, right? So it seems very clear that the line, which is this blue line, represents our graph. c equals to 5 over 9, f over 32. So in blue, let me write down here that c is on the y-axis and F is on the x-axis, the temperature here being when this is the x-intercept, right? So the x-intercept happens that we see a zero when F is equals to 32. So this point here represents 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Do you see that? And the point here which is the y-intercept, represents the value, which is minus 17.78. Right. So whenever you have a value on the y-axis, that is the value for C. So C is minus 17.78 degrees Celsius when F is 0 degrees Fahrenheit. And C is 0 degrees 
when Celsius when F is 32 degrees Fahrenheit right so that makes sense now this point here is very interesting it seems the point is at 40 40 minus 40 minus 40 So let us see what is the value of C when F is equal to minus 40. Let's calculate this value also. So C will be equal to 5 over 9 times minus 40 minus 32. So we have 5 within brackets minus 40 minus 32 bracket close divided by 9 equals to 1 it is minus 40 so that is a very important point on this graph which says that minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit is same as minus 40 degrees Celsius do you see that so this is the temperature which is same for both right so C is minus 40 and F is also equal to minus 40. So that point is same on both these graphs. Do you see that process? Correct. Now if you want to look into the other graph, how do we get the other graph? So this particular graph which we see is actually relating Fahrenheit with C. So if I have to find what Fahrenheit is, then I have to uh, rearrange this particular equation and so we can isolate F from this equation. So to isolate F, what can we do? We have to multiply C by 9 and divide by 5. Right? So we get this as equal to F minus 32. And then we can write this as 9 by 5 C plus 32 equals to F. Or we get a formula which relates Fahrenheit to degrees Celsius and that will be 9 over 5C plus 32, right? So this particular formula is being represented by this orange line here. So the other line, independent variable is C for us, right? So now this becomes C and that becomes F. Do you see that? And these points, which really, we, which we calculated earlier, gets interchanged. So if you now calculate for the value of C as 0, you'll get this as 32. So this intercept here on that line should be 32. Okay? So this gets reflected here on the line y equals 2x. This makes sense to you. The intercept which now you get here will be minus 17.78 so it's kind of a reverse calculation you see that so what we notice here that these points they get reflected on a line which is y equals to x so in a way these are inverse of one another so that is how they are related do you see that so that is how they are related and this point remains same so two things very important from here to understand is how we write an equation decides what goes on the x-axis and what goes on the y-axis. So if I work with c equals to 5 over 9, f minus 32, f is the independent variable. For degrees in Fahrenheit, we are interested in converting to Celsius, right? Now, if we interchange these variables, then we get the equation as Fahrenheit is 9 over 5C plus 32. Now that equation, if you need to plot, which is also a linear relation, then you have to place C, degree Celsius, on the x-axis, and the values which you get will be reflected on the y-axis. So the coordinates will be C and F in this case, correct? So in this case, the coordinate point will be C and F. And in the previous case, the coordinate points were F and C. Does make sense to you. So that is how they are related. And this is an extremely important relation. I like you to go through this and understand how to work with the graph sometimes and with the formula sometimes to do easy conversion of temperature from one degree to the other.
I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.